know that he's with those that he has chosen and called to be. But so ever in his name, I think men forget that there is a God who created them. We cannot go past him or before him, even behind him, if he does not want you there. You know, I'm one that quote not scriptures for every word that's been said, but God put me right in between and I can interpret and I'm riding along with the hand of God. It is God who gives the revelation. In this end time, we all must be born, born again of the water and the spirit. <coughs> The Spirit is the one in these last days to do the work, the finishing work. He has come to gather all of God's people together. I pray one prayer that all will make it. And those whom God has called to preach his word, do just that. And the Lord will say whom he will. He will choose whom he will. He will justify whom he will. Let God do the work. We are not supposed to tell him what to do. He's to tell us what to do. He's such a good God, and when we obey his word, miracles begin to happen. Some people say, how do I receive a miracle? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. First, and he shall be saved. And sometimes he would miracles that you may believe. Because you know you didn't do it. The doctor didn't do it. But he did it. God is such a good God. All the time. And I want to encourage people. Listen to only one man. The one who called you called you, called you for different reasons, called you to come to him, called because he wants to save you, called because he wants to heal you, called you because he loves you. He calls for many reasons. Most of all that he may see and be in the kingdom. You know, lots of people have got the book turned to be their way for interpretation. But there are many reasons why God called you. He calls you to be with him, with him. You know, we, it's so much I want to say, but I settled down because people, that reads the Bible. They hurt people more than anybody else. People who say they know God, destruction is always in their mind, in their heart. Always ready to condemn. Amen. Amen. Always ready to say something, do something that's out of order. But I come, he sent me into the world that I may do what I'm doing and nobody has anything else to do with it. Because you didn't call, you heard. 
You heard about it. But there I'm going to tell you something. There's going to come one greater than everybody. Everybody got to bow. Every knee, every tongue has got to confess. So let us search ourselves and find what category we're in. And start looking around at ourselves and keep your mouth off somebody else. Amen. I will always say that because Jesus never walked around criticizing people. Everybody better go back and read the story of Jesus Christ. How he walked and how he talked. How he carried himself. His character was great. And I'm so thankful God is who he is. You may turn yourself. The Lord loves everybody. Everybody. He's waiting right now for people to repent. That they may receive every gift. Not all of them. But the main one God wants for you. So what we'll do is just ask God to save us, I said us, sanctify us, fill with the Holy Spirit. And I guarantee you when you get that spirit, you'll be changed. Amen. You will be changed. You're not the same creature anymore. You will be changed. You will be changed when the Holy Spirit come upon you. All that bragging, all that talking about people, all those things that's happening in the world, leave the world out there. Amen. And come and serve God rightly. Amen. God is calling for holy people and a righteous people. God knows evil because he created it, but he shuns it because it's not in his heart. So I want everyone to raise your hands because we have found him, the one that is so great. I thank God for following and leading this ministry because He's the one that called. I have nothing to do with it when I deny myself, like John. I must decrease so for he can increase. God is a good God. He's a holy. When I say holy, that means he has no evil. He's perfect in all his ways. So Heavenly Father, in your precious name, I ask that you may do many wonderful miracles. Let your glory fall. And let everyone that hear this sound of my voice let them bow their heads and say, Lord, forgive me that I may be saved that I may be healed, that I may be filled with precious Holy Ghost. Lord, quieten the nations now. Let your peace come into this earth. I know the time of destruction is upon the earth now. But unto your people, to those that belong in the kingdom with you, allow, allow, allow your spirit to go into every home that is manifest for you. Lord, in your precious name, we come unto thee. Oh God, for our hearts are already with you. Lord, open up the eyes of the blind. 
that they may see. Open up their ears that they may hear. Let them see thy glory which shall shortly come to pass. Let them recognize your voice. For you said, my sheep know my voice and a stranger will not follow. So thank you, Lord, for those that you are drawing at this hour. Bless them. I see now this circle is going around. But bring that one in, Lord Jesus, that's standing on the outside. Bring that one in. I pray for the lost that they may follow you. I pray for the world. Bring those out of the world. In the name of Jesus, let your sound be heard all over the world. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, we recognize you. The honor to you. We thank you. In Jesus. Name. Heal. Don't forget about those that are calling on your name. Here is a voice that's calling out to you. We want to thank you. We want to thank you. setting us apart then bless us with your name thank you Lord
Praise God. How do you feel, sir? Great. And you? Oh, blessed, blessed. And you, you shake his hand for me. And you. Yes, yes, yes. You know, I don't see anything but stars. That's the truth. That is the truth. I, I want to say to the people out there that continue to watch, when the prayer was going forth, I saw a rapture or whatever it may be, it was caught up. It was like a whirlwind caught up in this world. Don't know where on the land was going to land, but God is ready to take his people up. Whether up in heights or whether up in the rapture, I know something not really happened. Don't you feel that? Where's your mind? Yes, I do. I, I, in the spirit, you can really feel God has already made a move and he's getting ready to do what he said he was going to do for his people. Whatever promise he has promised you, whatever promise he has said to you, he's going to fulfill it now. It's here and now. It's not that he's going to do it. He's doing it. I believe it. I feel it. There has been a change already. Mm -hmm. You can tell it. Yes. It's not so much about the people, but it's what God is doing. Amen. Amen. And he's changing everything. Yes, he is. What about you, Brother Dwight? Yes, ma'am. I, I feel like the Lord is ready to perform. It's like there, there's things that have been prepared for so long oh. and, and spoken and promised and prophesied. And now it is, he's coming through. Yes, it's, like the, it's, the, it's, it's the move of God. It's, it's for his, like you said, for his own self. Yes. And, you know, he's, he, he's drawing to the people, but he's, he's going to perform his word. At the end of the day, his word is going to be fulfilled. And those that get on the trainer are going to be carried with him, but those that don't will be left behind. Mm -hmm. I believe that is what's what's going on. Like it's it's it's, it's late. Yes, yes, it is. You know, it's getting close to. It reminds me of the midnight cry. But it's, it's getting late. Oh, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You as you all sit here, I can actually feel it's a it's a good move for us, yes. those who love the Lord. But it's a dangerous and a scary feeling, what it is. But it's done in the spirit. That's how many go miss it. Uh -huh. Amen. Because it's done where people, those that love the Lord, would tell and be able to feel it. Amen. Now, a person that's not born again, they would just think, oh, just, this is automatic. No, no, and it's so strange how he reserved us for the end. Yes, 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 yes. The end. What do you say about the end? What do you feel? Quick. These are the signs of the times, that all things which were written may be fulfilled by the holy apostles and prophets. Now we look at, we see the signs, we see the rumors of wars. Um, <laughs> We see famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And God is warning the nations today through the earthquakes, the winds, the storms, the whirlwinds. The time, the time is at hand. And so the Lord is telling his people, be ready. Be ready, because the rapture is getting ready to take place. I'm going to elaborate on that. When the music was playing, in the spirit I heard like a thunder behind whatever was been said, the prayer. And the Lord opened my eyes and I saw a vision of being raptured up. He had taken me and I was whirling, going up. What do you have to think about that? Only Elijah, right? Yeah. And there was another, Enoch. Yeah. 
says, take it up. So what, what do you think in this time now that he's actually saying to me as well? Okay, this is symbolic of the rapture. When uh, Elijah was taken up by the whirlwind, mm -hmm. there appeared a fiery uh, chariot between him and Elisha. Mm -hmm. And he looked, he said, in the day that thou seest me being taken up, thou shalt receive a double portion of my spirit. Mm -hmm. So he saw him being raptured up. He was taken up in the whirlwind. So this is symbolic of the rapture. Jesus spoke these great words. He said, marvel not at this, for the time shall come that they which are in their graves shall hear his voice. And they that hear of his voice shall arise into the resurrection of life. Okay. Now you're going to step over. Over the whirling. Look at that pill. He's, he's coming. There's, he's coming. Mm -hmm. It, it's still, I, I can only demonstrate mm -hmm. because when the Lord raises his hand, mm -hmm. there's going to be a change out there for his people. Mm -hmm. I can see. Hmm. This is something. It's done by the hand of God. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm trying to bring over. Mm -hmm. And he, he, he's, he's picking who he will to be caught up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It may not be so much even for the rapture, but they're going to be caught up mm -hmm. in their minds. And there's going to be even as the change, mm -hmm. the change. It's because they've been caught up. Yes. Ooh, Lord, I feel that. Ooh, there are sounds of trumpets. Yeah. I hear yeah. that. Glory, glory. And the trumpets are sounding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I hear them blowing in my ear. Mm -hmm. They, it's a big gathering mm -hmm. that's ready to be gathered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is something new is going to take place. Yet it's maybe written, but he God, God has taken over now. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I can just see it. And when Elijah was transferred, on the page, he was transferred just like a bus ride. Uh -huh. Where did he go? Straight, straight to heaven. Mm -hmm. This signifies now when Enoch was translated <coughs> that he should not see death. And he was translated to God because he had this testimony that pleased God. For anyone who wants to make this rapture, now the word rapture is not technically written in the Bible, okay. but it, it's a gathering. Mm -hmm. God, Jesus is coming back to gather his people unto himself. So when Mama mentioned the trumpet, the trumpet is a signification of the trumpet feast in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. When they blew the trumpet, it signified this is the beginning of the feast. So we will have a feast in heaven. So you remember when he comes back with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God, that signification of a great feast that shall take part in heaven. Mm -hmm. With the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Now this here is translated as a transfiguration. When Jesus came back, he was transfigured. Moses and Elias appeared with him. So this is a translation of the body. Remember, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither corruption inherit incorruption. So we will be transferred. This is the beginning of the feast. They that are dead in Christ sleep. Them. They're not dead, but they sleep. Them. They shall rise first. Wait a minute, wait. I hear the Lord talking to me. That's why. Over there is where I saw the vision. I come and sit here. He said, look at yourself. Now I'm thinking, now I remember saying, a change is coming. And I grabbed the hair, a change is coming. 
and put the two together, white. The change, glory be to God. Mm -hmm. Give me your hand. You see, God's going to join people together. There, there's a demonstration on this stage. Hallelujah. And they should wear white. Glory. Huh. I don't care what color you have when you start a world. It's going to yes. turn white. Because yes. he said, look at yourself. And that's the Lord. What do they have to do with it? He said, I change you. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I change you. Yes, yes. And I'm hearing like in heaven, they have beautiful, beautiful hair. Yes, yes. Some white, white hair. Mm -hmm. And light. It's light. That's what he's telling me. They're not like here. It's a change. And the Lord said, you're representing a change. People out there may not understand, but I called you for demonstration. And so have been doing it all the years. But God, is proven. See what's happening. He said, why I showed you is because it's ready to take place. Yes, exactly. And the ones I caught in their lives. Uh -huh. Everybody's not going to be in that. Amen. Not, not what's happening now. This is a designation yes. destined to be caught up. The word of God is going to bring that. Yes. And it is for, as I heard by Elijah, the rapture, it did in Christ arise. Yes, but this is for a calling of a ministry. That's what it is. It's, it's a call. Yes, 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 yes. And the call is going to be charged mm -hmm. a work that men going to see you rise. Yes, yes, men should see you rise yes, yes, yes. and play the trumpets when it need be played mm -hmm. because that's what God is doing. Demonstration mark. Yes. 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 Let the band play. Right here. Amen. 
The man is right here. Yes, sir. He's right here. Yes. And it shall be. I feel this power. I feel this power. I feel this power. Yes, it's right here. Look no further. It's right here. It's time. Yes, yes, yes. I can just feel him talking to them. It's time. Yes, yes, yes. Get ready. Yes, yes. Demonstration. The Lord said, look again. I look again. Right. Yes, they yes. must be pure. Yes, sir. Yes. They will be glorified. Yes, These are glorified people. Yes, Lord. Glory. Uh-huh. That's why I had you to change, he said. You have it for a demonstration. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let them see what I'm doing. It's, it's going to be visibly what God is doing. Glory to God. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I see him walking away. He come to tell us about this vision. Yes. See, man don't know what God is doing. They don't know what the Holy Spirit is doing. Amen. God's keeping some hid where the world won't touch you. He's keeping you until your hour. Ooh, hallelujah. Jesus has already appeared. Thank you, Lord. My God. Now what do you think about it? All I can say is marvelous. I, I can't think of a word that to it's described what what you have talked about just now. It's so far out there. It's so far in the heavens. It's so holy. It's I, I just can't explain. But I'm grateful, grateful to God. He's doing what He said He's going to do, and it's so magnificent to know and it's a privilege that God had to know him mm -hmm. it's such a privilege in it especially in this day and hour because I see so many people they talk of God but their heart is not there mm -hmm. they do it for show but this is real in this ministry this is why you know I talk about this ministry a lot but I'm so grateful to be here because he dwells here. His spirit is here. And he, he does such magnificent things through you. And he has chosen you for this cause. To tell the people. You don't hear people telling people what you just said. They're not there with that. God didn't choose them, but he chose you. And you are the one for this end time. Mm -hmm. And speaking of the rapture, I, I, I'm going to say this. Uh, I know people think I'm crazy. But you, you're bringing Jesus on, which is bringing on the rapture. Hallelujah. Because of the speech, if people can see what you're saying, it's bringing him on. Mm -hmm. And the rapture is right there. It, it's, it's here. Mm -hmm. It's here. I have to say this because it's true. Yes, it is. I believe. Uh -huh. I believe you. I believe. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I agree with what she was saying because there's a, a certain witness of the kingdom that must be revealed before he comes. Uh, the, the gospel of, of, of this kingdom that's even in this house must be preached as a witness. There's a witness and the glory must rise, the light must shine. But all people have to see the witness before he comes because the judgment will be just and it will be right and it will be set. So the glory has to come so the people have a chance to look up and say, there's Jesus. He's there, he saves. There will be no excuse to turn him away. So I thank God for his works in this, even in what you're speaking of because it's a part of the end. 
and he's coming, but there has to be, the, his glory must be shown. His gospel must be declared before he comes. And he wants everyone to have a chance. There's, there's great love in it, but he, even as you mentioned last week, he's also, he's also tired. Yes. He's dealt with so much and, and it has been so gracious and kind to all of us mm -hmm. and thank him for that. But the work of God must be performed. And, and that's why I believe he comes in this way because he's coming. Mm -hmm. he, he's ready. I can feel it. like the, he's, he's like the, 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 the triumph of horses. Like that there's <laughs> heaven is ready. Heaven is yes. preparing yes. itself even as people are being taken away and yes. added to the army. Yes, sir. But heaven is preparing. Oh, my peace. And the inner. Yes, Lord. You know, the beauty, the beautiness of the whole thing is, is that I agree with what was said. I agree with what was said. And what makes it so beautiful, you know, according to the word, there is not that much to be fulfilled because the gospel is being preached throughout all the nations today. We have satellites, we have radio, we have cable. And all the technology combined. So the only thing now that's going to happen on God's turn, I mean, his table now is the rapture. Because the gospel is being preached. We're seeing all the signs that are spoken of. And so there's nothing else but the gospel. And the nations are receiving the gospel. And so now we are now at a point now that his coming is nigh. Because of the, the world events, because Israel is being attacked like never before, so that's one of the great signs because of Israel. They're attacking his people. Revelation is being fulfilled before our eyes. So the rapture has to take place shortly. And that's the beauty, beauty of this ministry that I love about you because you speak, you preach in boldness, you preach the truth of God, you preach by the Holy Spirit. And like I've said before, I have witnessed the signs, the miracles, even I myself was healed of different things. So that's why I can stand and say today, God is with you in this ministry. His Holy Spirit is here. The nations are receiving it. People are still being healed. There are some that are denying the name of Jesus Christ because they're speaking against the ministry. Uh -huh. But they shall be put down shortly. God chooses whom he will choose. He will raise up whom he will raise. He will put down whom he will put down. And no man or no woman has should not say anything. Anyone who's filled with the Holy Spirit they should not say anything about that person because they're speaking against God. Amen. Amen. All this tradition about women preachers and all this. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna make it short. First of all, when we think about uh, we think about Abigail, when you think about Aquila and Priscilla in the New Testament, whom Paul chose himself, even though he said he said, "I will not assert a woman to have authority over man." That she go home and ask her husband the problem. Let me tell you something. The same man that said that, yet he appointed Aquila and Priscilla. And they were missionaries. And the only reason Paul said that because at the church of Ephesus, it was a custom. And he was trying to keep trouble down for himself. That's why he said it. To please the high priest and those that was in authority at the time. Because it was an ordinance at that time. And he didn't want to bring trouble to himself. But you find that, yeah, he adored them. Let's look at Esther. I'm going to bring this up. Esther was an orphan. Remember the scripture says, he said, I have taken the foolish things of the world to confound the things that are wise. She was an orphan, and she was a cousin of Mordecai. He was her guardian at the time. He encouraged Esther to go before Exorcist. Exorcist was the king of Persia at the time. And she didn't want to, she didn't want to do that because she was putting herself in trouble. No man or woman can come to the king unless they were summoned by the king. Mordecai told her, cousin, you go before the king. Maybe he will listen to you because she had found favor in the king's sight. And later on, she became his wife. When she went before the king, he said, what is your petition? She told him and she granted him. Now, let me tell you something. The Jewish people were saved through her because of her word and faith in Jesus Christ. The whole nation of people were saved. And Haman was the one who hated the people. So what happened, they ended up cutting his head off because he's the one that brought the trouble. So women do have a preeminence pre in the gospel. God has raised them up so we can't say anything. Deborah, one more. Deborah, the prophetess, she was a judge. 
she judged Israel. All of Israel came unto her under the palm tree of Deborah. There was a man whose name was Barak. And he sought advice from her. Should I go up and make war with these people? Because these people want to destroy the people of God. So she besought the Lord through fasting and prayer. The Lord gave her word. He said, he said, the Lord thus said, thou shalt go up before these people. Behold, I have delivered them and even into thy hands. He told her, he said, I will not go up unless you go with me. He was a little less short. She said, I will go with you. See, and the battle was fought and won that day. Amen. And it took a woman. A woman. And God yes, used a woman. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. There is a prophet out there yes, yes. Amen. that sinned about a woman. Amen. Yes, and he spoke it so loud that yes, his Lord. church was in a yes, He said, There God has chosen a woman. Yes, Amen. My understanding, he has passed very young. Yes. However, yes. we just don't never know who's who. In this room. Would you sing us a song? God is awesome. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
and his survival. And then to you, the star, the star, the star, the star. Many men are looking at you. Many men are watching you. Many men. I see your face right now. I won't say who you are. But many men are watching you. God has a purpose. They recognize you. Thank God. Thank God. God said, I'll get you there. Seek on, seek on, seek on. Ask the Lord, he will tell you all things. And all things are yet to be told just by watching sometimes. You see the glory. You see it. Bye-bye. Take care. Amen.